Welcome back to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to bring you a product review of Cold Fire Tactical. It's going to be a two-part uh, video. Part one, we're going to explain uh, what the product is and how it works and, and all those things. And then in part two, we're actually going to show you some field testing that we've done with this product. Um, I would like to thank the folks over at Cold Fire Tactical for sending this out. Uh, greatly appreciated uh, for them sending it out for our uh, product review. And I'd also like to thank a subscriber by the name of Jeremy S. I did a <clears throat> review or I did a video about uh, installing a fire extinguisher in my bug out vehicle, my FJ Cruiser project I'm working on. And he had asked, was I familiar with this product? And at the time I was not. And I got to researching it once he, once he mentioned it. And I was able to uh, look at it and, and say, hey, I like that product. Uh, let me let me look at it and research it a little further. And I reached out to the company. They agreed to send us out some products for testing. So I want to thank uh, Jeremy S. And I also want to thank Cold Fire Tactical. So Cold Fire Tactical, what is it exactly? It is a... Um, it's essentially a fire suppression type substance that is... Um, that, that's in different type of packaging that's not traditional to what we normally think of as fire extinguishers. And that's what caught my attention about this. Um, it is mostly marketed to police, fire, and military. However, I think it has a lot of applications in a lot of different fields um, from individuals, uh, civilians, to, you know, of course, obviously police, fire, and military. It also has um, uh, uses in... Um, People that would use um, around fire hazards, such as welders, mechanics, people that work in the racing industry, uh, like NASCAR, the uh, NHRA, people that do drag racing, things like that, go-kart racing, whatever. Uh, I think something like this would be uh, a product that would be a must-have. Even down to something as simple as your local go-kart racing track, having if you could get it approved and they would allow it, to allow to have these products attached to the cart itself and uh, because they really work <clears throat> well for that application what i like about them is because they're small and compact um you've probably seen a similar packaging these are uh, packaged very similar to some of the pepper spray um, that you see out on the market the packaging is very similar so and this product is actually was actually tested by the national tactical officers association the into ntoa and got the highest ratings that it could get so it's actually been independently tested by uh, you know other agencies and, and uh, other associations uh, as well uh, including i think nascar and the nhra i don't know what capacity the nascar and nhra are using this but i know that it's in in some of their systems uh their fire suppression systems within their cars or so forth plus that's why I say if you could have this attached to the side of your toolbox um, or, you know, near you uh, in an area that you knew where it was where you could grab it if you were doing welding or you're a mechanic working in a shop and fire can get out of control very quick, especially when you think about fuel fires. And I think something like this would be perfect. I also did a video recently about surviving a riot. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw this product. One of the major dangers in the riot situation, besides bodily harm as far as somebody physically assaulting you or hitting you with rocks, bottles, things like that, is fire. A lot of times they're setting fires or they are throwing Molotov cocktails, whatever. So even from a civilian perspective, having something like this you can wear on your person, on your body at all times to put out a fire is awesome. Uh, your campers, your you know people like that, If you're uh, a lot of times you go camping, most people don't even think to bring some type of fire extinguisher system, uh, fire suppression system. Something like this you could easily throw in your backpack, uh, have it mounted on the outside of your pack if you uh, caught your pants on fire or you know, you know uh, got your campfire got a little out of uh, control. You could use something like this to put it out and not carry a full-size fire extinguisher. So something like this would work great for that. Your off-roader guys that... Um, and I'm going to show that in, the, in part two of the video is how I've, yes, I've got my traditional fire extinguisher, but I also have mounted, since mounted one of these. And I'm going to show you how I did that so you can get some ideas of maybe how to mount it uh, in your vehicle if you choose to buy something like this.
so it comes in different sizes it comes down uh, it even comes down to a small four ounce size which is like your smaller pepper sprays that you see that you could actually put in an ifac and i look at this as similar to an ifac uh for fire suppression so if every officer or everybody on your team had one of these on them then i can use it to put your you can use it to put yourself out which you like an ifac you can use it to work on yourself or other people can rip it off of you and use it on you or they can rip theirs off of themselves and use it on you if you would get uh get caught on fire so something like this they don't weigh a whole lot in the grand scheme of what they uh, keep because fire can kill you obviously and do some major damage to you and that is a, a highly dangerous situation um, what fires will these put out these are rated to put out um class a b d and k fires uh which means fuels accelerants grass fires uh tires things like that that a lot of tactical officers would come into uh, or other people like mechanics and stuff but like even from an officer's standpoint you know car fires uh, you know riot type situations meth labs using flashbangs whatever uh, this this right here will take care of most of those fires they do not recommend it on a um, electrical fire and the reason is is because this is a liquid based uh, substance so you look at the potential of uh, electrocution when you get when, when you put water on something uh, electrical fire a lot of times so they do not, do not recommend for electrical so keep that in mind this is designed for accelerants and things like that um, it's made in the USA, and uh, they have many different sizes, 4-ounce, 13.5-ounce, 20-ounce, um, and then they go up from there to the larger systems that, that look more traditional, like um, like your traditional fire extinguishers, which is like a 2-liter, 4-liter, 6-liter size. They sell some industrial size, like 5-gallon uh, jugs of it that you can use to fill your own system, stuff like that. So there's a bunch of different ones, and I'm going to put in the section below where you can buy it and so forth but if you're an officer watching this i highly recommend that you discuss uh with your agency a way for you guys to buy this product and keep on you uh, in your car and uh you know so especially tactical officers even field officers because a lot of times the tactical guys get all the cool tools and yet the regular police officers sometimes don't get the cool tools and i think that uh, sometimes they need it as bad uh because they're dealing with stuff the first they're a lot of times the first officers on the scene before the tack units actually even get there so there's a couple videos that i'm going to uh put in the section below also some links to those uh that coal fire tactical has gotten and one of them is a situation where some officers came up on a um, actual fire a car fire tried putting i think somebody tried putting it out with a traditional fire extinguisher that didn't work four or five officers got their cans of their coal fire and was able to put that fire out one good thing about this technology that they have it cools the surface immediately and that's one of the things we're going to test because let's say a car fire a lot of times you can put out the fire but the metal is so hot you can't open doors and things like that to help extract people out or whatever and you don't want to get in that situation because even a fire under the hood just the heat from it can cause or a tire that catches fire because of a brake that got stuck or something like that the heat radiating off of that can cause door handles and stuff to be so hot you can't open it and then it's just it's kind of, it's really tough so this right here uh, actually cools the surface from a racing standpoint kind of the same thing you want those metals to cool down as quick as possible so you can get a hold of them like on a tire or a wheel that's caught fire you want to be able to cool that surface down so you can actually get a hold of it but guys, I'm super impressed with this product. Uh, I'm really glad I found it. Uh, again, I want to thank Jeremy S. for even mentioning it so I could research it and look at it and now do some field testing. And I really like it. I'm going to show you guys how I've got it in my vehicle. Uh, I'm probably going to get a few more cans to be able to put in some different areas in my bug out trailer, stuff like that. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to do section part two coming up here shortly. And, you'll, and I'll actually uh, have it uploaded uh, here in the near future for you guys to watch that and see it in action and uh, kind of fun to set some stuff on fire i don't normally do stuff like that but i'm going to set some stuff on fire and let you see how it works and just test this out and, and see what you think but anyway guys i appreciate you tuning in pre appreciate the support of the channel if you uh, like our channel and you're not a subscriber please subscribe if you are a current subscriber um, we appreciate your support and your continued support uh, and if you like our videos give us the thumbs up it's down there in that section below just hit that uh, little like button that helps 
helps us with YouTube, uh, the way they rank us and, and share our content and things like that. It's always helpful and appreciative. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.